How y'all doing, man? These five signs someone in your life is sent by the devil. Number one, they draining your energy, man. Say for instance, like, you'll be like, one day, so one day they happy with you, and the next day they mad with you. They be like, what the fuck? What the fuck, nigga? You need to get your own shit. I'm sorry for cussing, but that's just how it is. That's how they be. Like, you be like, where did this anger come from? Like, where, where did this anger come from? You see what I'm saying? You just be like, man, what? Where did this anger come from? And it's just crazy, bro. Like, these type of people, man, you got to leave them alone. Because number one, they're going to drain your energy. Because the Holy Spirit is going to tell you that these people are not right for you. Uh, uh, like, your energy going to be so low. Number two, they comfortable living in sin. No conviction. Say for, uh, say for like, they always drinking and stuff, smoking weed. And they'll tell you, be like, oh, bro, you your own God, bro. You can do whatever you want to do, bro. You're your own God. And God says, love not the world, nor the things in it, nor those in it. And, and they loving everything of the world. So guess what? They're going to be comfortable living in sin because as long as the devil, as long as you're living in sin, the devil's going to reward you. He's going to keep rewarding you. But when you try to leave that lifestyle, when you try to leave the kingdom of darkness, that when all the attacks come, all the attacks trying to bring up your past, all the attacks trying to scare you, that's when all that comes. Since I didn't been through it, you would know if you're chosen, bro. Your life is always hard. you like, man, why am I life so hard? Because they know who you are on a divine level. They know who you are. And now, now that I have my anointing, I don't know who I am. All oh, this food, they like, oh, bro, you need to watch what you eat. But you can watch, you can eat whatever you want to eat. People just like to live in fear. You eat whatever you want to eat because, uh, because the Lord thy God, your your life is in the Lord thy God hands. The Lord thy God says, fear nothing, nor be trembled, nor be dismayed. For I am the Lord thy God, greater than he that's in the world. Number three, liars of themselves, selfish, toxic, narc traits. Say, fans, that you will, um, you will be wanting to better your life. You will be making videos and stuff, wanting to better your life, wanting to do better, want to be an entrepreneur, and and then and they know they gonna try to dismay you and stuff like, oh, you ain't making no money off of it yet. You ain't making no money off of it yet. So why, why you just get a job at Subway or something? A job that pay every two weeks because they want you they want to control everything that you do bro they want to control every little thing that you do they want to control your whole life they want to control everything that's what demons do they don't want to see you on your own path they want you begging them forever since so they want you depending on them forever uh, but when they see you're about to level up says so when they see you're about to level up they gonna get mad Start calling you crazy. Start calling you all type of names. Start trying to worry about what you're doing. See what I'm saying? But now nah, we gotta say nah. Uh, we say no more. Uh, then like they gonna try to like install negative thoughts in your head. But we know who we are now. What can you say? Yeah, we know who we are now. So what can they say? And what can they do to us? Nothing. Number four, avoiding accountability, avoiding accountability responsibility. Man, these people will do you wrong, kick you out for nothing. These people will kick you out for no reason, bro. They will kick you out of the house for no reason. They will say, sleep on the street, you motherfucker. They will kick you out for no reason. No reason at all. They'll call you all type of names and stuff. Call you this, call you that. They won't even say sorry. They they will expect you to say sorry. See how backwards they are? See, they don't get their energy from the source. They feed off your energy, bro, any way possible. They don't like to see you happy because they're they're in a low vibrational, miserable state. So they want you in that low vibrational, miserable state. You see? But you got to say no more. No more will we be in the low vibrational state. We know who we are. So send everything that you want. I told Satan, I told Satan to send the whole kingdom of darkness. 
I told him to send the whole kingdom of marine agents. I promise I will not fold. That's what you got to do too. Tell Satan to send everything your way and you will not fold because we are doing this for the kingdom of heaven. The Lord thy God said, I am greater than he that's in the world. Remember that. If he created the heaven and the earth in days, what makes you think he can't protect you from all evil? Ask yourself that. If, if the Lord thy God created the if the Lord thy God created the earth, or uh, created the earth, the heavens, the seas, the waters, in days, what makes you think he can't protect you from evil? Ask yourself that. And number five. Oh, but it's a big one. They enjoy seeing you suffer, bro. They just enjoy seeing you suffer. Man, these people will see you on your bottom. These people see you at your lowest. And they'll try to take advantage of you, bro. Just because they know you don't have nothing. Just because they know you don't have nothing right now. Just because they know that you're going through a tough season right now. Bro, they going to do everything. Bro, let me tell you my let me tell you my little story. So, so I really ain't got that right now. So they want to take advantage of you. So, all right, so they know you ain't got no job, man. They know you ain't got no money. They know you ain't got no food. Sense, and they know that you ain't got none of this. So what they going to do? They going to they gonna go out and get all this food. And they going to come back to you and be like, Oh, 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 I fed you, man. You eating up all our food, but they keep calling you to eat. Do that, like, what type of backward stuff is that? How you gonna feed somebody then brag about feeding someone? You don't do that, bro. That's 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 not right. You gonna feed somebody? You should feed it out of the love and caring of your heart. See what I'm saying? You should do it out of your heart, bro. You shouldn't have to brag about feeding nobody. Oh, I fed you yesterday. Oh, your breakfast ready? We know you hungry. Ha you sleeping over there in that house? Is, is, is it warm over there? That way they do. They enjoy seeing you suffer. They don't want to see you. They don't want to see you happy, bro. But a whole time you happy to them and you ain't got nothing. They got everything. These people, these people will endure the whole world and still be miserable and still be sad. And they like, how is this man not sad? How how is this man not mad? Like they enjoy seeing you suffer, bro. It's all a part of it. They enjoy seeing you suffer. But just no troubles and trials, they come to make you strong and they do not last long. In the name of Jesus. God said, I will make you, I will make you a plate in front of dying enemies. I will make you a plate in front of dying enemies. And so therefore, man, don't trust nobody. Your own family will backstab you. And they'll brag about what they did for you. They'll try to bring up the past. Oh, I did this for you. Oh, oh, I did this for you. Oh, I did this for you. Oh, 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 you wouldn't be in this place if it went for me. You wouldn't be right here if it went for me. Like, people just don't do stuff out of the... Saying, saying, people just don't do stuff out of the love and care of their heart anymore. They just do it to have something to say they did for you, bro. But you got to have discernment to read through it. Yeah, man, don't trust nobody. They enjoy seeing you suffer. But those are fine signs someone sent by the devil. You would know if they sent by the devil, man. They'll just be treating you so bad for no reason. They'll treat everybody else so good. People they don't even know, bro. But those fine signs somebody sent by the devil, man. The chains are broken.